Hi, my name is Anthony Pulvinelli with Bud Smell Motor Cars in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Here today to ride along with you in the all new 2017 Mercedes Benz GLS 450. The S was added for 2017 with the complete redesign of this vehicle because this lines up exactly with our S class model flagship cars. The 2017 Mercedes Benz GLS offers power easy entry for the second row of seats. With the simple press of a button right next to the rear headrest, you can actually power everything with the seat to automatically fold up. It will also move the front seat to the ideal position so that the seat can properly expand or collapse for you. The third row seats are electronic open and close. You can do it from the left rear side, the right rear side, or with the power liftgate standard. On both switches you'll see a control for both the left seat and the right seat, making opening and closing the third row a breeze. Once again, this is something that you'll see on every 2017 GLS. The all-new 2017 Mercedes-Benz GLS is offered in three different models. There's the GLS 450, which is what we're currently driving, the GLS 550, and the GLS 63. All three offer a new nine-speed automatic transmission. You'll find that as you're driving one of these vehicles on the central instrument cluster, you can actually see which gear you're in at all times. It'll tell you which of the nine speeds it's currently in, toggling anywhere from D1 to D8. If it just says D for drive, that means you're in the ninth speed. So you always know which speed you're in, which also makes it nice if you did want to manually shift using either of the paddle shifters to the right and the left of the steering wheel. You can operate those at any time and you'll always know which speed you're in. The GLS 450, which is what we're currently riding in, features a bi-turbo V6, which produces 362 horsepower and 369 pound-foot of torque. Mercedes does also offer two other engine varieties if you're looking for even more power. The 550 offers a 4.7 liter bi-turbo V8, and the 63, which is done by AMG, is a handcrafted AMG 5.5 liter bi-turbo V8. There is also a diesel variant of this vehicle expected very soon. All engine varieties of this car do feature about 7,500 pounds of estimated towing capacity. Mercedes setup with the seats is meant to not only give you the ideal viewing position so that you can appropriately see over the hood, you don't find that you have blind spots with the rear mirrors or the rear window or the sides, um, but also too, Mercedes really wants you to have a sense of control of the vehicle. They, they really focus on making sure that the driver um, can always feel like they're in full command of the vehicle, whether they're someone that's always driven a full-size SUV or maybe is used to a smaller-sized uh, rather be a car or SUV or even like used to a midsize. Um, that way making the upgrade to a full-size SUV, having the extra space, having the extra towing capacity, the extra storage, it makes for a nice easy transition because you always have that feel of control both with the way the steering wheel can electronically move to your ideal position. Um, also too with everything saving the memory. So you'll find that driver seat memory is standard on this car. Um, as well as the offering of passenger side seat memory. You'll also see that with the driver's seat, it's not only going to memorize your, your uh, seat positions here, but also your four-way lumbar switch, your electronic steering wheel, both of your side mirrors, everything's going to be saved. So whatever the ideal position is for you, for you to be able to operate the vehicle, the car is always going to know. Some other nice automated features that you'll find on the Mercedes-Benz GLS is going to be rain sensing windshield wipers, a automatic electronic parking brake, no need to worry about a side switch here for a pedal or having to worry about any kind of a re release latch or you know anything like that. It's completely electronic, it'll apply itself on a hill, it'll turn itself off for you. Plus everything obviously with, well, with your lights completely automatic. So you'll find that everything from the LED daytime running lamps, even down to some of the new headlamp designs they have for 2017, are all gonna operate automatically for you. 
they added the S for 2017 to our previous GL because this car is basically sits on an S-Class chassis. This is meant to line up with our flagship S-Class vehicle, both in the quietness of the cabin, the luxury of the ride, the you know elegance of the interior and the controls, as well as just the variety of options and features that are available to you. You see the navigation up on the new 8-inch screen, which is now standard on the Mercedes-Benz GLS. This will feature everything from obviously being able to adjust all your radio stations and navigation, but also, too, you'll be able to view everything from your backup camera, even your surround view camera, all directly from the central screen. You'll find an exceptional turning radius on all Mercedes SUVs even our full-size GLS is absolutely no exception. Makes turning around, whether you're on a road or in a parking lot, making a three-point turn an absolute breeze. And if you ever need a backup, obviously having your rear-facing camera as well as your surround view cameras make that quite simple as well with this vehicle. Mercedes recently introduced the Dynamic Select with five different driving modes into their lineup, and you will find that on the Mercedes-Benz GLS, there's a central controller right here. Um, it makes it very, very easy to toggle between any of your five driving modes, and one thing that you'll find on this particular model is that your driving modes are a little bit different. So with the full-size SUVs and the mid-size SUVs, our driving modes are a little bit different than they are on the cars. So with this particular car, we've been driving in what's called comfort so far. We can change between a couple of different modes. So we do also have a slippery mode, which this car is 4MATIC all-wheel drive all the time. So it'll go great for you in the rain, the snow, stuff like that. But the slippery mode is gonna be a little bit more proactive. So if you do put it in a slippery, uh, cause you're anticipating inclement conditions or it is starting to get a little slick on the road, the steering and the all-wheel drive when everything will get a little bit more proactive for you even the way the engine shifts it's kind of expecting a slide there's also a driving mode here for off-road once i initiated it over to off-road it's actually going to adjust some of the driving dynamics of this car so right away i'm going to notice that it's going to adjust what my maximum speed is to 60 mile an hour it's also too going to adjust some features in terms of like the ride height the engine shifting the steering You'll find too that on certain GLSs, there is an optional on off-road package, which turns this vehicle's off-road capabilities to a completely different level. With the on off-road package, this vehicle would actually give you the ability to handle up to a 70% grade. In addition to that, if you are taking it on the highway or just regular streets and you're out for a drive and want to get a little bit of a sportier feel, a little bit of a quicker kind of a feel to it, you can actually toggle it to the left beyond comfort. There is a sport mode. As soon as you put it into sport, you right away are going to feel a difference with the stiffness of the steering. Also, to the way the engine's going to shift. Um, almost gives it the impression like you have something else kicking on. All it is is by changing the shift points of the engine, uh, it really makes for a little bit more of an aggressive driving dynamic for you, uh, which gives you a whole different type of driving experience. There's also to an individual setting, the individual lets you customize it. So if you want to do some fine tuning, some, some fine tweaking with uh, how the driving dynamics are, you can go to individual and actually customize your steering shift points, things like that, right from that screen as well. For 2017, Mercedes has introduced some new wheel options for the GLS as well as a completely newly redesigned front fascia, larger star in the hood, um, with the option obviously to have the illuminated star, as well as the lamellas have changed a little bit. You'll now notice some spokes dividing up the lamella on both the right and the left side of the star to give it a little bit of a more striking, elegant look. Really wants it to stand out from the rest of our SUV lineup, as well as you know any other full-size SUV on the road. They've also redesigned the, the rear fascia regarding the tail lamp designs, as well as you can actually now see the, the, the tailpipe design a little bit differently with the way it's set up for the exhaust system. Heated seats, auto dimming mirrors, logo projectors from the side mirrors, which 
uh, which, which actually illuminate the Mercedes-Benz emblem, uh, remote start from your smartphone, um, as well as things like your collision prevention assist, which is now adaptive braking, you know, memory for all your seat controls and everything. Those are all just a couple of the standard features now that you're going to find on the GLS. Sunroof is a standard option on the GLS. However, this particular vehicle, as well as most of our inventory, is equipped with a panorama sunroof. You'll find that on nice days, um, obviously, it makes your driving experience even a little bit nicer, being able to kind of see out, as well as having the ability to open this entire front pane and lift it over the rear. Full glass sunroof adds to the elegance of the exterior as well. A multitude of driver's assistance features are standard on the GLS. Everything from our attention assist system to monitor your, your driving, make sure that you're alert and awake at all times. Um, also to systems like the adaptive braking, which is an advancement upon our collision prevention assist, as well as things like our blind spot assist, lane keeping assist. You, you'll find just about all those driver's assistance features on every single one of these vehicles. But you also find that there are additional driver's assistance options, such as our Distronic, which is basically like a drive pilot system with, with steering pilot. And what that's gonna be able to do for you is that actually has the ability to not only adapt your cruise control to the vehicle in front of you based on distance, but also to can steer you and keep you in a lane. Obviously with semi-autonomous driving, it's still recommended that you keep your hands on the steering wheel, but a vehicle like that does enable you to, at least at moments, take your hands off of the wheel. The car will help steer for you, as well as taking your feet off the pedals. Once again, uh, should, should still at all times keep your foot in close to the brake, but you'll find that you, whenever you have the uh, Distance Pilot Distronic on, there's not really a need to worry about gassing and braking. Active Park Assist is another option on this vehicle which gives you some, some ability to uh, automatically park the car for yourself with the uh, parallel parking, things like that. And you'll find that with the surround view camera it makes it much, much easier. It's great to be able to have that feel of luxury and comfort no matter which seat you're in, whether you're up here in the front or you're in the second row or the third row. You'll even find that with like the third row of this vehicle, it's best in class uh, third row leg room and Mercedes has just always kind of had that idea about the comfort of these cars. They've never wanted to put a third row in any of our mid-size SUVs for fear that it would kind of restrict the people in the back. So what's always been great about our GL, and which is absolutely true about the new GLS, is you always find you have more than enough space no matter which of the seven seats that you're sitting in. The warranty on all of our Mercedes-Benz models are four year, 50,000 miles, and this car is no exception. Thanks for taking a ride with me in the first class luxury for seven, which is the all new Mercedes-Benz GLS. For more information or to check out our inventory, stop into our showroom here in Greensburg, Pennsylvania, or visit us on the web at smailmercedesbenz.com.